It is impossible to count the Pentecost on the lunar solar calendar. Using the lunar solar calendar is the sole way to currently count to Pentecost. It is only by using the biblical calendar that all the requirements for reckoning Pentecost can be met. Scripture provides three time parameters that must be met in order to correctly count to Pentecost. These are clearly given in Leviticus 23, 15 and 16. You shall also count for yourselves from the day after the Sabbath that you bring the wave sheaf, seven Sabbaths. They must be complete. Then after the seventh Sabbath, you shall count 50 days. The three requirements as set forth in scripture are one, start the count on wave sheaf the day after the high Sabbath. Two, seven Sabbaths must be complete. Three, number 50 days. Seven Sabbaths complete provides seven complete weeks, starting on wave sheath. On the next day after the seventh Sabbath, the count to 50 days begins, depending upon the number of days in the third month or lunation, this 50 count takes you to either the 28th or 29th of the fourth month. The entire count from wave sheaf is approximately 100 days. The Feast of Weeks revolves around the first fruits of the summer wheat harvest. And because wheat calls for 100 to 120 days to mature, the entire process constitutes just about four months. The great feature of the celebration, Feast of Weeks, was the presentation of two loaves made from the first fruits of the wheat harvest. Yehoshua alluded to this truth when he made this statement shortly after the Passover. Do you not say, there are still four months and then comes the harvest? Historians and biblical scholars all agree the Feast of Weeks stands as a memorial of the giving of the law at Mount Sinai. The day of Pentecost was kept by the Jews also as a festival to commemorate the giving of the law on Mount Sinai. The Feast of Weeks was held in remembrance of the giving of the law. Feast of Pentecost or of Weeks, when the first fruits, especially of wheat, were presented commemorative also of the giving of the law on Mount Sinai. If one were simply to count 50 days from the wave sheaf offering during unleavened bread, then Pentecost would be celebrated well before the children of Israel had even reached Sinai. However, in using the Luni solar calendar, we see the timeline laid out in scripture, proving the biblical and historical account of Pentecost is indeed a memorial for the giving of the law. Counting seven Sabbaths complete will always fall on the eighth day of the third month. Exodus 19.1 states, the children of Israel arrived on the same day of the month they had left Egypt, the 15th. Here we have the first seven days in our count to 50. Exodus 19, 10 to 16 states, Yahuwah told Moses to sanctify the people. Three days later, Yahuwah descended upon Mount Sinai. And so we have three more days added to the count, giving us a total of 10 days. In Exodus 24, Yahuwah asks Moses to come up the mountain together with the elders. Moses, Aaron, Nadab, Abihu, and the elders then ascended Mount Sinai. Yahuwah then calls Moses into the mountain. After 40 days, Moses descends with the original tables of stone 
written by the finger of Yahuwah. This adding 40 more days gives us a total of 50 days. Further proof shows us on the 49th day of our count, Exodus 32 tells us that Aaron proclaims, tomorrow is a feast to Yahuwah. Being the high priest appointed by Yahuwah himself, Aaron had beheld Yahuwah's presence on the paved work of sapphire stone in Exodus 24. And so, therefore, this was no random feast, albeit the children of Israel desecrated this sacred day with their idolatrous behavior. It was In fact, you guys, this particular day that they had defiled, the very first one was Shavuot. It was the Feast of Weeks found exactly 50 days after the seven Sabbaths complete on the lunisolar calendar. And that is going to be a new moon. There's no moon seen on this particular day. It's 102 days, and it's, it's at the end of the fourth month, you guys. Just like Yeshua said, don't you say that there's still four months until the harvest? He said this at the end of Passover, you guys. It's not the barley harvest he's talking about. Barley doesn't take that long to grow. It's talking about the wheat. Only by counting seven complete Sabbaths on the lunisolar calendar, then adding another 50 days, does one arrive at the true Feast of Weeks, that is, Pentecost. Far from disproving lunar Sabbaths and the lunisolar calendar system, the biblical count to the Feast of Weeks is one of the most remarkable verifications of the exactitude of both. It's an exact count, you guys. It's an exact count. And you cannot go wrong if you catch the, the Abib and you catch the new moon at Abib and you start your count to the Passover and then start your count from the Passover to Shavuot. It will always land every single time. On a new moon day. That's a fact, you guys. And that is biblical. This is your second witness to what Jonathan's been telling you for three years. Shalom to you. May you will bless you and keep you and make his face shine upon you.